hi guys hope you are doing great in this video i want to talk about how you can debug your node.js application you must have known that we can debug our javascript front end code like this is the page if i go to uh, inspect and in the sources i can see all the files being rendered and i can add the breakpoints over here but node is a technology for backend and uh, our browser only show uh, the files that are being rendered from the front end. So how we can debug our node application. Other than that, I will also be talking about how you can log your data in various styles in order to differentiate or detect that this style was used uh, in that particular file. And there must be an error uh, in that particular file because uh, we are styling uh, that thing only in that file okay so this is uh smallest ever program i have written uh this is the package.json this is the index.js file i have uh included fs module and i'm just writing that uh, data in my notes.json file which is not created yet okay so uh in my terminal uh, if I want to run index.js file, I simply write node index.js. Okay, and you can see that this uh, code has been executed and our file has been created. Okay, now in order to debug this node.js code, what I can do is I can simply run a command node hyphen hyphen inspect and index.js. Okay, and now it has given me a URL that this is the URL you need to open this particular URL in order to debug this code. So I'm just going to copy this whole code. I'm going to go and open up the browser, hit enter, and uh, it's not loading up anything. The reason is our server is not running. It uh, ran once and now it's not working so what we can do is we remove hyphen hyphen from inspect and it is showing me that it is in debug mode debugger is attached and this is the code that is getting executed from here okay and uh, now what i need to do is i'm gonna go to browser reload it web sockets request was accept expected so i'm gonna write chrome colon hyphen hyphen inspect so this is the page you will see if you navigate to chrome colon hyphen hyphen inspect and uh, this is the file that is being rendered if i click on inspect you can see that debugger actually paused on the first line. Whenever you try to debug any Node.js code, it will always get paused on the first line so that uh, you navigate from here yourself. I can add debugger over here. If you, I can see the logs over here as well. If you can't see any particular file or you open up any particular file that is not being shown up or not already opened in this uh, sources folder, you can click on add folder to workspace and uh, you can just add that particular folder over here and all the files node.js file will be shown up uh, right on the left side. Okay, so I have added a debugger. I just click over here it has stopped over here as well and uh, i can just uh, click on data it is undefined just click over here if i hover over here you can see this is the data that has been shown up just remember that this is the backend code node.js uh, is uh, running this code as a backend now we are just trying to test it uh, on our browser okay just finish it up now our code has been finished up okay so just uh, ignore these things permission denied file system we are not we are just trying to uh, use node on our front end browser so uh, you can just ignore this message okay so now this is how you can debug your node.js code another thing that i really like is a package that is called chalk so npm 
chalk and it provides us a colorful way of logging different text or data in our console so you can see that last week these much downloads of this library are done by uh, different users or developers all over the world so let me come down and first of all i need to install this library by just copying this uh, thing so i'm just going to paste it over here it's going to download this particular library and it's going to add it in package.json file okay so the node modules so you can see this has been added all other uh, libraries are uh, dependent on this particular library okay so now i'm going to chalk require chalk okay so i have required this particular library now now i can use it using this variable let me go to its documentation now if i want to print anything in blue color uh, let me just comment this line comment this line as well and now i'm going to print out hello world which is in blue color okay so i'm not going to inspect it uh, this time but i'm just going to directly run this file node index.js now you can see hello world has been printed in blue color what else we can have over here we can have a background blue background red bold okay so let me just copy it and i'm going to paste it over here rerun the file now you can see the blue is the color for the text background bg red if uh, that shows that there would be a background red color so where do i use it i use it if i have hundreds of files in my project and i have logged different data and in console in terminal at the end i have got around two three errors and uh, this red background shows that this particular error is in the auth files a uh, greenish background uh, logs are in the profile section of our product so by just focusing on the colors we will have an idea that this particular log is coming from which particular file uh, without actually taking a lot of time and go through the execution stack of files that which file were called at start and uh, which file is logging out that particular data so it really helps in debugging something in our console we can uh, just customize it uh, with the dynamic values as well uh, like here a lot of things you can just go through its uh, documentation these are the styles reset bold italic underline and you can just differentiate each of these styles for different files in your code so i really use it in my project for debugging purpose mainly okay uh, let me know what else we can uh, do using this particular library just uh, let us know in the comment below and uh, that's pretty much it hope you have liked it uh, make sure you check out my other node.js videos uh, including mongodb uh, including relational database models using mongo express and node so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the like button